Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about one of the new Tom Ford iQuads. I finally got my hands on all three of the new ones and I put on uh, my community tab here on YouTube, I put a poll up to see which quad you guys would like me to review first and Body Heat won out. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. What we'll be doing today is doing some swatches of the quad. I'll also be applying it onto my eyes, which is why I look so weird right now, but we'll be applying it together onto my eyes so you guys can see how it performs. And then I will do some comparison swatches to some other Tom Ford quads that are kind of similar. There's only one that I feel like is kind of close, but the others I figured I would show you because without a side-by-side -side comparison, I feel like it's something that you may think is similar and they're not. So we'll go through all of those comparison swatches at the end. I will put timestamps as I normally do when it's appropriate down below my description box. So let's go ahead and get into the particulars of this quad. So it comes in typical Tom Ford packaging, no surprise there, same old eyeshadow quad packaging. Here is a close look on the inside of the four shades and you'll see here and along with the two other new ones that the wet dry eyeshadow formula is what is included in these quads and it is one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow formulas. It's so beautiful and oftentimes people ask me like how how do you know that it's the wet dry formula? To me the, the shadows just look very different. They don't look like a powder shadow. They look like almost like their fabric in the pan. And that's how I can always tell that it's the wet dry formula. I think also the TF stamp, I don't know if it's on all of them. Um, I don't know if it's like only on the wet dry one, but usually that's a tip off also, if there's like the TF stamp. So anyway, that's just a quick word on how I can tell that it's the wet dry formula. Let's go ahead and take a look at some swatches. So here are some quick finger swatches. I just went across the top and then across the bottom. And then here are the finger swatches, but with wet brush swatches next to each shade as well. So it goes wet brush, swatch and then the finger swatch and then again across the top and then across the bottom. So when you work with these shadows wet, they just look a little bit more opaque. They have a little bit more of a metallic impact, but when you work with them dry, they're incredibly beautiful as well. It's not like these shadows have to be used wet. I feel like sometimes there's shadows out there that if you don't wet them, they just don't show up or you know you really have to use them wet. That is not the case with these shadows and this formula. This formula just gives you the option to use them wet or dry. I think they're equally as beautiful both ways. You can see that my dry finger swatches are just as metallic and beautiful. They're just not quite as opaque looking. So it really just kind of depends on what you're looking for in a shadow. So we're gonna go ahead and apply these shadows together onto my eyes and we will definitely use one of them wet just so you guys can see. One thing I do wanna mention uh, now that you guys have seen the swatches, I do feel like these bottom two shades are very, very close. I mean, there's a tonal difference, but I think on the eye, you would kind of use them for the same purpose. I think you would use them just to, you know, kind of deepen out your outer corner. Maybe you use it to line your eyes. Maybe you use it all over to, you know, to make a smoky eye. So I'm not exactly sure that they needed both of these shades, but you can actually see that this is, you know, it's a little bit warmer. It's a little bit lighter. This is a little bit more neutral and a little bit deeper, but they're kind of similar. So let's go ahead and just apply them on the eyes and see if you can see a difference. So I'm gonna start with this like terracotta shade. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Worker One brush. And I'm gonna start on the outer corner and work into my socket line area. And my um, allergies that I wasn't sure if it was a cold has definitely blossomed into a cold. So I apologize, I sound really stuffy at the moment, but I'm hoping to be able to edit out all the sniffling and the coughing and the sneezing. Sometimes when I use eyeshadows like in this color family, I feel like my lips and my eyelids kind of warm up colors sometimes. And so I was afraid this was gonna end up being really orangey, but it's not. It has really kind of maintained its like terracotta shade and I love it. Blending out beautifully. I really, really love this formula. I'm gonna take my Sonia G Builder 3 brush. I'm gonna go into this shade for my right eye. I'm gonna go into this shade for my left eye. So we'll see if there's a difference or not. I'm going in dry. I think what I'm gonna do is use this shade wet. So I'm gonna go into these dark brown shades dry and just deepen up my outer corner here at a little bit more dimension. I feel like I do the same thing every time. I'm gonna take my Isum uh, S33 brush and I'm going to blend this out. There's no product on here. I'm gonna just blend this out. Okay, so that's how this shade looks over here. Let's go ahead and use this shade on this side and see if we can see a difference. I'm gonna clean off this uh, Builder 3 brush because I like to use the same brush and just do the same thing on this side. 
and taking another clean Isom S33 brush and blending this out. All right, so I can see a small difference. Uh, this side definitely looks a little bit more red. It actually blends into the first terracotta shade that I put down. It blends into that a little bit better. This definitely looks a little bit like sootier. It looks a little bit cooler. And I feel like it has a little bit less of a metallicness in there. So this definitely, I feel like appears deeper and darker, but kind of playing with these, these two together, doesn't that remind you of, wasn't there a duo that came out for like, fall winter 2016 or something. I never picked it up, but I feel like they came out with a couple of them. I don't have those, I can't compare them, but that's what these two shades remind me of. So I'm gonna take my Sony G Smudger 2 brush and I'm gonna go into this darker shade and use this to line my eyes. Using it this way with like a stiff smudger brush, I definitely got a little bit of fallout there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a few speckles there of this dark brown shadow. All right, Fallout has been successfully swiped away. So that color looks great as liner, no surprise there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade Wet. I'm gonna use that kind of on the inner part of my lid, maybe on the inner corner. Uh, let me find a brush that I can use Wet. So sometimes when I like to use eyeshadows Wet, what I'll do is I'll pick it up dry and then I'll just spray something onto my brush with the product. That way I kind of don't gunk up the pan. But with these shadows, I find it's best to wet your brush, go into the pan and actually kind of create a little bit of like a paste, like turn it into a cream shadow. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have the Tom Ford number three brush. This is their concealer brush. And I've actually never used this brush with these shadows wet. So I thought I would try today with you guys because this is one of the brushes that always had synthetic hair, so this has not changed. Um, and if this works out, this may be something you're interested in. Um, so again, I'm gonna go into that light shade and add it right here, the inner part of my lid. This brush is okay, but I wanna try something else. I'm gonna use my Trish McAvoy a number 19 small lay down brush. This is sable hair and I'm going to wet this guy. Yeah, this looks a little bit better. I think I needed something that was a little bit stiffer. The bristles on this Tom Ford brush are a little bit long, so there's not a lot of stiffness. By the time you get to the end of the bristles, this is uh, much stiffer. So I picked up a little bit more product. Oh yeah, now you can really see that. Really turns it into such a beautiful cream shadow. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna want to kind of blend out that edge because it's pretty stark. I'm gonna use that terracotta shade and kind of blend that out, but I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other side here. I'm gonna take that Isom W33 brush. I'm gonna go into this terracotta shade and just pick up a teeny bit of product. I just wanna blend out this edge a little bit here. And it's not like when you use these shadows wet, it's like they set down and they're completely like immobile. Um, you can actually continue to like blend them out, which is really nice. All right, there is the finished eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back so we can do some comparison swatches with this quad. All right, I'm back. Um, I will leave a link to everything that I have on my face down below in my description box if you are interested. Usually for the comparison swatches, I kind of do a voiceover and, and I'll talk about, you know, the similarities or the dissimilarities between the quads, but I think it's fairly evident that there really aren't any qu other quads, at least that I have, that is similar to this body heat quad. The one that I found that had the most similar feeling surprisingly was Disco Dust. So you'll definitely see a comparison against this Disco Dust quad. Let me just hold them up next to one another. But you'll see swatches and everything. So what I did for these comparisons is I just hold up this Body Heat quad next to the other ones and then you'll see some arm swatches. You'll see all four of the Body Heat and then all four of the comparison quad next to it on the right. Let's go ahead and take a look at these comparison swatches.
So my final thoughts on this Body Heat palette, I think it is really, really beautiful. Um, I think, and now I can't remember, but I think the Glam Dr. Mona Khan and I mentioned that this was similar to um, a quad that was maybe discontinued like years ago. And I think maybe it was called Enchanted. This was kind of like before I even got back into makeup. So I wasn't even aware of this. But other than that, I don't think it's very similar to any of the current quads. You guys heard how much I love this wet dry formula. I really like this quad. I think it's very neutral. I am a sucker for shades like this, like the terracotta. As you guys know, I love it for blush also. So my only minor complaint is that these two shades are uh, similar. They're definitely very similar on the lid. Um, again, I used the lighter, more red undertoned one here and the cooler, deeper one over here. I mean, I think you can see a very slight difference if you're standing up very close to me, but they serve the same purpose. They kind of just add a little bit more dimension. They're both deeper than any of the other two shades in this quad. So I don't know if it was necessary to have both of them, but I do prefer this one to this shade. I think it works really, really well. They blend well together because they have that similar undertone. And then this is great as a liner because it is very uh, deep and sooty. Um, I should also mention when I was doing the arm swatches, when I was kind of wiping them away, uh, I had a very hard time wiping these shadows away. So they are very, very pigmented, especially this darker one. It is very, very sooty. I'm losing my voice again. So we're gonna end this video uh, before I lose it completely. So definitely subscribe down below if you're interested in seeing the other Tom Ford quads. So I have Double Indemnity, Double Indemnity, and Suspicion. Those two are coming up. I think Suspicion came in second place. So I'll be doing that next. And then I'll be doing uh, the double indemnity, which is actually the one that I'm most interested in. I think it's the most cool toned one. And then I also purchased two of the newer Chanel quads, Blurry Gray and Blurry Mauve. Those are coming too. So I don't know, I may stagger them, but it's it's like I quad bonanza around here. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in that. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this quad. Leave me some questions. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video.